Data usage reporting through CradlePoint NetCloud Manager is enabled by default and will update every hour. This feature will begin only after a device is added to a group with data usage enabled. Check out our video on adding devices to a group if needed. If you need to disable the reporting or adjust the reporting interval, log into NetCloud Manager first. Click on the Groups tab on the left. Find the group and check the box beside it. Click the Settings button above and a window will pop up. The checkbox to enable the usage reporting is shown here. Uncheck it if this is not needed. If enabled, you may use the slider to the right to adjust the update interval. Note that the process of sending data usage from devices to NCM also consumes data. Shorter reporting intervals result in more overall data usage than longer reporting intervals. When done, click the OK button to save the changes. Remember that usage will only be tracked while the device or devices are checked into NetCloud. Data usage spikes can occur on routers when they transition from an offline to online state. This is due to routers continuing to collect usage data internally while they are offline in NetCloud Manager. When a router returns online in NetCloud Manager, the data used while the router was offline is reflected and can appear as a spike in usage. Next, let's take a look at how to configure a data usage monitor and alert. Navigate back to the Groups page and select the group to create the data usage alerts for. Click the Configuration menu and then click the Edit item in the menu. In the Edit Configuration window, start by clicking the Connection Manager tab from the left. Scroll to the bottom of the device's page here and refer to the WAN Management section. Click on the Data Usage tab and check the box to enable this setting. Click Save. A notice will pop up to alert you that CradlePoint cannot guarantee the data usage tracker will match what the service provider shows. Click Yes, followed by OK. Now scroll up to the Interfaces section and find the WAN connection you want to set a monitor on. Find the gear under the icon that looks like a bar graph. Data usage should be highlighted on the left. From here, select monthly, weekly, or daily. We're going to use monthly. Check the box to enable the usage monitor. Set the date at which the data cycle starts in the month. Set a usage cap. If you're using load balancing, check this box. The next options control how the router should behave when the usage cap is reached. It can disconnect and require a manual reconnect to get back online. You can set an alert to warn you when it has reached the cap. You can also set custom alerts so you can be notified when you reach 90% of the total cap, for example. Click Save when you're done. Click OK. Click the Commit Changes button in the bottom right corner of the Edit Configuration page to save the configuration. Click OK to proceed. Navigate to the Alerts and Logs page. The Alert Log tab is displayed by default on the Alerts and Logs page. Click the Setup Alerts button here. This changes the view on the Alert Log tab to display the alert types configured in an NCM account. Click the Add button to open the Add Alert Notification Rule Wizard interface. Click the General Alert Type first. Select Data Cap Threshold and then click the Next button. Select the group to apply the alert rule. Selecting the top level account selects all the groups and nested accounts that belong to the top level account. Alternatively, you may select just a single group or a combination of groups to apply the alert rule. Click the Next button after selecting the accounts or groups for the alert rule. Select the delivery interval for when the alert is logged to the alert log and when email notifications are sent. The following notification intervals are available. None. Logs the alert but does not send an email notification. Immediately. Logs the alert and sends email notifications of the alert when it occurs. Hourly. Logs the alert and sends email notifications at the beginning of hour following the alert occurrence. Daily. Logs the alert and sends an email notification at the beginning of the next day, which is 12 o'clock AM based on UTC. Email notifications are sent only when an interval other than none is selected. When an interval other than none is selected, choose the notification email recipients from the recipient list. Click the Next button when you're done. Review the alert settings on the Add Alert Rule summary screen. Click the Finish button to save the alert rule or click the Back button to make changes. To generate a usage report, click the Insights tab from the left. Click the network tile on the Insights page. 
Click the data usage tile on the network page. Complete the following fields on the details page form and then click the next button. Make a name for the report. This is displayed in your list of reports on the insights page. Add a description of the report. Enter the time period the report should cover. Report format. This is the output format for the report. CSV is the only format currently supported for data usage reports. You cannot use a logo with CSV reports. Click the review button after completing the required fields on the details page. This will create a report with default report fields and will be based on your top level account group. Review your report settings on the summary page and then click the save button to create the report. Return to the main insights page and run your report from the report log area of the page by clicking the name of the report. Here's an example. That's all for our data usage alert and reports configuration. We hope you've enjoyed this video and welcome you to subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thank you for watching.